Good afternoon, everybody. PA Figs here. So it is getting to be late July, and not much to share in terms of fig updates. No ripening figs yet. Uh, I'll take that back. I did have a couple of figs in the greenhouse ripen. I'll talk about those later, but for the orchard, not much going on. Um, figs are forming. They're definitely a little bit behind this year, so we're going to see what happens, but some beautiful Martinenka Ramadas here. And let's see, here is that Coldedam Ramada. Thank you, Amy. It is coming along nicely. No figs set on this guy. And I think this is a Borgeso Grise, which is doing really well. Definitely ahead of a lot of the other figs. So looking forward to that. Um, this is one of my two. Let me get the tag to verify. Yep, Galicia Negra. But not a single fig set in this one. My smaller one that's out in the, the main orchard does have some, but no figs at all on this tree, which is surprising. Some Roma tomatoes setting nicely. And here is the Paradajal Ramada that I got from Amy. Thank you, Amy. And you can see there is, let's see if I can focus, one fig forming on it. And it is showing some signs of being a Ramada. So that's a good sign. And you can see the, the bark on it is definitely Ramada. So very good. In here, my Borosot Negra Ramada. This has ripened two figs. Um, I'm having two problems. You can see that I've got a uh, mealy bug problem in the greenhouse still. So that, I've been dealing with that. But more importantly, it has been so humid, uh, especially in the greenhouse, that the figs, when they ripen, have become extremely moldy. So I have opened the second door of the greenhouse if I can zoom out a little bit here in hopes that it'll allow a bit more airflow in and help with the ripening. So we will see. Behind it is a uh, Violet de Bordeaux that's growing like crazy. You can see it has the mealy bugs as well in here. Some figs been getting put out. Um, I don't expect them to ripen in time. All right, let's keep going along the orchard here. I'm not going to cover the trees on the, the side of the lot. They uh, had a rough start. Most of them got hit by frost pretty good. I don't expect them to ripen. Oh, my triple crown blackberries are just starting to have a couple ripen. You kind of kind of search for them, but there are a couple that are starting to ripen and they are delicious not quite ripe yet so very soon though we're gonna have plenty of those all right this is a colidom nor and i believe i got this one a couple of extra weeks in the greenhouse but you can see it is still pretty far behind so it's gonna be a late ripening for these guys. We've had some really hot weather, so I think that's hopefully helped. And on the end here, you can see a couple figs that, that got hit pretty hard by the frost and actually died way back. This is all dead wood up top here. So this one died back pretty much to the roots. Is regrowing, does have figs on it. Not a chance of them ripening. I don't remember what these guys even are. It's funny, black ashia. So when they, they die off like this, the shapes of them change a lot. And it actually becomes harder to remember what the heck they are. Uh, Blanca Negra. It's got a decent set of figs on it. I'm not going to cover the rest of the ones that died off. Uh, that guy there was coming back. It tipped over, though, while I was out of town in a uh, windstorm. Didn't get water, so you can see it all dried died but it is coming back now I believe that's my Angelo's dark and okay moving on to happier things in the orchard here this is the Colidom 
Grise. And you can see it's got a decent amount of figs on it this year. But again, they are pretty far behind. So hopefully the warm weather continues to catch some of these figs up. Small black Madeira. This was started in the, the greenhouse. And when I show you the, the trees out front, my black Madeira. Actually, I've got one over here too. Um, this was the one that was in the greenhouse. Got a bit of a head start. And you can see those figs are pretty large. Probably still a good month to go on them. This guy is loaded with figs. This is my Pote de Cavell. Again, they're pretty far behind. I mean, it's almost August here. We've got, what, another week and a half in July. And ideally, you want your figs to start ripening in August or early September. And it's going to be close this year. I think I'll get some um, that will start to ripen, like... You know, I don't know about these guys. Uh, maybe some of the bigger ones, but, you know, there's no way these guys here are going to ripen. And I'm getting to the point, I should probably make a video on it, where it's time to take these small figs like this that are not going to ripen and just pinch them off. Save the energy in this tree for the figs that have a shot at ripening. I haven't done this very well in previous years, and I really should get better at doing it. Um, I think it'll do wonders for getting the other figs to ripen. So I'm just going to go through here, pinch these guys off. Okay. And let's see. Uh, we are having um, the spotted lantern flies again this year. I just killed one earlier. If I see any more, I'll show them to you. They are at their mid larvae stage. I don't know the official term, but uh, they are turning red and they should be forming uh, wings here shortly. So this is my Brogiotto Nero, and you can see it's got some big, beautiful figs on it, so um, should get some. It is a later ripening fig, so you can definitely pinch off these smaller guys. <clears throat> I believe this is my other, yeah, Galicia Negra, and this guy does have figs on it. Um, I'll be surprised if they ripen, but I'll leave some of them on because I can always maybe try to put it in the greenhouse for a little bit, but I will pinch off these guys because there's just no way. Okay, this is my green Madeira, or white Madeira, sorry, and it actually ripened a couple Brabas or... It's hard to tell again if they're Brabas or, or uh, main crop, but it ripened them very early. So I really thought it would start ripening some of these bigger guys um, very shortly. But they've kind of hit that stagnant stage, and they have not ripened. So I'm going to let those go. I'm going to, again, pinch off some of the smaller guys. What am I missing here? This is Larg. I really do have to get some better labels. Oh, no, this one's got one. But it's very important to label and relabel your trees because you, you can see down here the labels that I put on the tree itself tend to fade. Uh, Lark's coming along very behind. Might be a late ripening, might get a few of them. This guy here, <laughs> let me zoom out. It's a big tree, very, very tall. I'm gonna have to chop the tops off this fall. Um, I'm trying to remember what the heck this was. Oh, this is my unidentified tree, which I thought may have been a col de dom, but looking at the figs, the figs do not look correct for col de dom. So, not exactly sure what this guy is, but I remember it being tasty, so we're gonna let it go. Over here we've got Manresa. Manresa is just starting to put out, where did I see him? Starting to put out a few small figs up here. No way will they ripen. It does have a couple of slightly larger down here, but I'm gonna say this one's pretty much done for the year. And this was not one that died back this spring, so very surprising how long it took to uh, get going. All right, here's my other black Madeira. So this black Madeira, if you remember, the previous one was, you know, the figs were pretty big after that, you know, I think it only got like a three-week start in the greenhouse. 
Well, look at the size difference. These guys are significantly smaller. So just that little bit of an early start in the greenhouse, and maybe it was a month, but really, really makes a huge, huge difference on the size of figs. But that guy is loaded. This is my improved Celeste. It did get hammered by the frost. You can see this all died back here. I'll have to trim all that off, um, but it is putting out a lot of new growth. And for one of my earliest figs, there is still hope that this might ripen by the end of the year. Although when it ripens in that later weather, it tends not to be as good as when it ripens early. So we'll see. Now this guy here is kind of my pride and joy. This is my one of my oldest trees, my Black Madeira UC Davis. So this has been a very sickly tree all of its life. And you can tell compared to the Black Madeira KKs I have, you know, this just looks like it's kind of scrawny and a bit riddled with FMV. None of the leaves look quite right, but look at all the fruit on it. And again, I need to come and, and thin it because, you know, Black Madeira is a very late ripening fig. Hey, Fisher, don't eat those. No, drop. That's gonna, okay, get out of there. That's gonna upset your stomach. Um, okay, so note to self there. When picking off small figs, don't have your dog around because they think they're toys. Um, so yeah, but this guy is really doing well. Really healthy, put on a decent amount of growth this year and very happy with it. This Preto died back from the frost, or I keep saying frost, but I guess I should say freeze, but it does have a couple figs, probably will not ripen in time. And I'm not gonna go over the other ones that got hit heavily. Some of them actually died all the way back there. Uh, one of my Pretos died all the way back to the ground, or died completely, the tree's done. Um, but let's go and check out the front trees. Okay, now I do have my car in the way, but I did want to show these trees. This Preto got hit hard by the frost as well. Um, died back, you can see some of this growth here died, and I had to put out new shoots. It's putting on a lot of figs, but uh, not doing so hot this year. And you can see the growth isn't real strong. I think it's time to be root pruned, so I'll have to do that this fall for this tree. Okay, so now all of these trees were indeed, this is an I-258, not hurt by the frost. This I-258 though has no figs down there, but does have several up top. It's a little bit late. Not sure those are gonna make it, but we'll see. And then we have a Maltese Beauty, which produces some of the most beautiful figs. And they're coming along nicely, loaded this year. So it should hopefully ripen these in time. Calderona de Minor, a great fig from last year. It's putting on a decent amount of growth and a ton of, oh, and there's a couple spotted lanternflies. Let's see if you can see them. This one might be easier to see up here. So there is what the spotted lantern fly looks like. And I've just been coming through and trying to inflict some damage on those guys. But yeah, oh boy, this tree's actually got quite a few on here. You can see that one. All right, there's one less. So they're about to grow their wings and become uh, lantern flies, the adult stage. Haven't seen too many of them this year, though, surprisingly. Oh, jeez, but this tree is certainly loaded with them. There's another one. They are a little bit slower. They don't jump as much at this age here as they do when they're smaller. When they're smaller, they jump like um, anytime they get scared or frightened or sense a predator, and they're kind of hard to catch when they're in the black and white stage. Now they're getting a little bit slow, probably getting ready to molt. I'm just gonna check this tree real quick, see if there's any more hiding in it, because that's the most I've seen in a while, but that looks to be, looks to be it. All right, sorry, moving on. Uh, Coldidam Grace, and very, very, very behind. I can't imagine any of these are gonna ripen. 
So, you know, there's probably no point even holding out hope. I'll leave that one guy on, but not looking good for this tree. This did not get hit by the frost, so the lack of fruit set on this is sort of surprising. All right, now here is a beautiful tree. This is my large Bordeso Negra Ramada, which started off slow this year, but has really, really picked up, and is just gorgeous now. And you can see, you know, all of this from here up is new growth this year, so absolutely beautiful. And the figs on it are just gorgeous. So up till about here, they probably have a shot at ripening. Um, so I should probably pick all of these guys off even though they're so pretty. And same thing over here. I should pick these off, but maybe I'll do a separate video to help some people that are just starting to grow figs. Okay, Rondi de Bordeaux. That's actually a, a decent size for this time of year for Rondé, because they are a smaller fig, so you don't have to worry too much about size, and they are a quick ripener, a very early ripener. Um, just in general, we're, we're behind this year. You know, that spring really set us back. It was a really late spring. And here is my other black Madeira. Now, this did not get a greenhouse start, but you'll notice it's well ahead of the one in the backyard. Um, it's an older tree, and I think that might have something to do with it. And it does really well. Um, this was the one, if you remember my older videos, the trunk had split on it. And I had put some sealer on. You know, the sealer's pretty much worn off now, but it did come back strong after that year. So I do believe that sealer helped significantly, and that tree is doing great. I do have one air layer I have to take off. It's probably well past time. Or I may just leave it on until those figs ripen, um, and then take it off. We'll see. So this is a small Bordesote Negro Ramada I had um, that died back to the ground this year. Or, you know, at least got hit by the, the frost and died way back. But you can see it's spitting out all sorts of new growth. I have an air layer in there to make a new tree, and it's coming back. Now here's the surprise of the year probably. This was my Coledam Ramada, which had died all the way back to the ground, and that's why Amy was nice enough to get me a new one. But look at this, look at the growth on it. It's got multiple feet of growth coming from the roots. No, uh, no figs, it's not gonna ripen this year, but it'll at least give me the opportunity to shape this into a, a nice tree for next year. And, uh, you know, basically restart that pot with the new tree. JH Adriatic, or Adriatic JH, um, probably not gonna ripen. Got hit, you can see the, the dead growth here. Got hit by that freeze, had to reset. Not going to ripen here in PA unless we get one crazy fall, which could happen, but I'm not going to hold out my breath on it. All right, lastly, let's go take a look at the cemetery. So I call this the cemetery because these are trees that uh, were hit by freeze or died in the um, garage over the winter in storage. So I put them over here to see if they'll come back. And here you can see this I-258 is coming back. I've actually got an air layer going on this one side. Um, this here was my Genovese Nero, and it's coming back from the ground in two different shoots. I put an air layer on there. Um, this was a panache. This was actually just a, uh, an extra I had that I wasn't sure what to do with yet. And then my white Texas Everbearing, which is coming back from the roots and kind of from the main trunks. I think what I'm going to do is probably cut these trunks off and just use these new shoots as my new tree starting this year. So you can see there's a, a lot of dead wood on here that needs to be trimmed. All right, other than some peaches and plums and peppers and pumpkins, that's it for figs. But hopefully everybody is having a, uh, a great summer and won't be long now before we start getting ripe figs. Um, I hope you guys have your trees doing well and... Uh, soon we'll be uh, comparing some flavors, hopefully. All right, take care, everybody. I'm PA Figs.